Hi, I'm Brandon Grant, Marketing Director here at QuoteWorks. In this video, we're going to walk you through setting up Quote Valet for the very first time. This video is going to cover the basics of adding your credentials into QuoteWorks so you can start using Quote Valet immediately. So let's go ahead and get started. First, you'll need to make sure you have your tenant credentials added into QuoteWorks. If you do not already have these in QuoteWorks, you should have received them via email. To add them to QuoteWorks, simply click on the Utilities menu in QuoteWorks, scroll down to the License Manager option, and on the right hand side you'll see the Tenant Account Subscriptions. Here is where you will enter in your Tenant Account Number and your Tenant Account Password. Once you have entered those in, simply click Test to ensure that the credentials are working properly and then Save to save the credentials. After adding them to the License Manager, simply click the Close button on the License window. So now that we have our credentials in QuoteWorks, we need to validate them by clicking on the Tools menu, scrolling down to Options, and then clicking on the Quote Valet tab in the top left here, the Options window. We want to first validate the subscription to ensure that the subscription is active. And if your checkbox for enabled Quote Valet is not checked, you want to make sure that's checked as well before you do validate the subscription. Once you validate the subscription and you've confirmed that the validation has succeeded, you can begin the setup. Many of the defaults for Quote Valet will already be set for you. In this short video, we're just going to show you the basics for the setup. For example, we want to upload our letterhead logo. So we want to replace the QuoteWorks logo with our logo for our company. The way you can do that is by clicking on the Upload Letterhead Logo button. So if we click on this button, this will bring us to a folder where we could navigate to our logo. One thing that's very important is if you're going to use this shortcut to upload your logo, your logo will need to be a JPEG in order to add it to Quote Valley immediately. If your logo is only in a PNG, then you'll need to go into the template editor and actually edit the template to support the PNG logo instead. For our example, we're just going to select our logo and then simply click open. And you'll see you'll get a confirmation that your default letterhead logo has now been uploaded to Quo Valley. And you can simply click OK. After you've completed that, you can simply close out of the Quote Valley setup, click OK to save your options, and then you're ready to start using Quote Valley. So now that we've entered our credentials into QuoteWorks and we've uploaded our logo, we can start using Quote Valley immediately. So obviously a lot of, lot of other setup options available, but for just sending out quotes immediately using Quote Valley, this is kind of the quick setup that we recommend. So to use Quote Valley and send out your first document, you either need to open a document in QuoteWorks or begin creating your new document. You can add your section headers, subtotals, mark items as optional, all the regular features available in QuoteWorks. Then when you're ready to send it to the customer, simply click on Deliver. This will open up your Deliver Document window. You can select your cover page that you'd like to include, select your layout files. If you have any literature information that you would like to include, you can attach those as well. Same thing for your spec sheets and anything on Links tab. Once that's been completed, you'll see on the right hand side of your window, you now have an Upload to Quote Valley button. Go ahead and click on that to begin the upload process. This will open up the Upload Quote to Quote Valley window. You can view the PDF before you send the document out, and then we can upload it to Quote Valley. And then you have the option of copying the URL. So if you want to send this to someone else via email that you're typing up, or maybe you've already typed up, or you want to preview the document on Quote Valet before you send it out to the customer, we can do that as well. And then when you're ready to send it to the customer, simply click Send Email. This will open up the email window. From here, you can select your email template. If you have one selected, you can modify the text in your email window. And when you're ready, you simply click send to send this out to the customer. This will include the link to the Quote Valley document and you'll begin receiving notifications when the customer views the quote for the first time. If they accept it, if they post a comment, if they make payment, you'll even see notifications start to appear in your Quote Valley dashboard, which will be listed in your toolbar here in QuoteWorks. And that's it. That's how easy it is to start using Quote Valet immediately. If you have any additional questions, please visit the QuoteWorks help file or contact the sales team. Thanks for watching.